Yo, out of wild in the building. Today we're taking a look at another team leader, Dayon Buchanan, the middle linebacker from the Arizona Cardinals. He's a converted safety, so he's going to have good speed. He has 86 speed. I believe that's the fastest in the middle linebacker. I haven't checked any of the new team of the week yet, so I don't know if he still holds that crown, but he has very solid 80 stats, zone coverage, hip power, everything that you need. Play rack is very solid. Looking at his block shed, 72 is, is kind of low. We got some wide receivers with 72 block shed and above, so that's going to be tricky to figure out for Dayon Buchanan. So starting off with his review, normally he's going to be a middle linebacker, for, but for me, I have him on the outside as a as a left out, I'm a right outside linebacker. So you're going to see him on the left side of your screen for the entirety of this review. But when it came to block shedding, as you can see, he doesn't seem to have too much of a problem when it comes to blocking, block shedding tackles and tight ends, and he's able to get to the run and even cause a few fumbles because he has very solid hip power and he has that big hitter trait. So he's definitely a playmaker against the run. He probably I'm going to say in your fourth and shorts and your third and shorts, you probably don't want him in there just simply because of the fact that he does, statistically, he does have that 72 block shed, which may not be the best for some guys if, if they're going to try to pound the rock against him. But maybe you don't put him at 3-4 even though he's a 4-3 linebacker like I do. Now, these past few plays, you've seen him run in zone coverage, and he's excellent in zone coverage. Not only does he shade the uh, routes that run into his zone pretty well, but he's very reactive when it comes to reacting to the ball when it comes out of the quarterback's hand. Now, he doesn't have that 91 zone threshold, so he's not going to react the, to the uh, ball of the pass as soon as the quarterback throws it, But once, uh, I mean, as soon as he starts their motion. But as soon as the, the ball is out of their hands, I mean, he, he he's an animal when he goes towards it. And as you can see here in these, in, in these plays, he's very reactive when it comes to the pass, and he has solid hands, so he's going to catch the pass. So, I mean, so far in this review, he's able to cover – zone he's able to stop the run and he's able to catch picks if you get if you put him in the right position now the next aspect of being a middle linebacker for most people is a lot of people like to cross man or man up the linebackers on tight ends of, of some routes and he's capable of doing that as well he's i wouldn't obviously i wouldn't put him on a, a corner route against uh the, some of the best route running tight ends i wouldn't put him against tony g if you know your opponent has tony g or something like that but he is capable if you're going to do that for him Here's a couple user picks. I mean, this is where most people are going to have their bread and butter with Dan Buchanan is using that speed and his agility that he has at that size to be able to move around the field and get picks. And, and, and you're going to find a lot of success with him right there. I just like to be able to have my middle linebackers to be able to be versatile and to be able to do other things because there's not I'm not going to be on them every single time, every single play. Sometimes you may get stuck on a D lineman. Sometimes you need to guard another side of the field with a different linebacker. And as you hear, you can see, if you cross man him or man him up in the right positions, he's going to be able to make the play. Overall, I do think he's the one you should choose from the Cardinals team leaders, even though I do believe that the Marcus Golden, who is the outside linebacker, is a very solid pick as well, as he has great pass rushing stats and he has good run stuff and stats. That's it for this video. See you guys around next time. Peace.